What's up people? Welcome back to our graphics. My name is Damlela. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating this progress bar in Adobe After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So right here, I have my After Effects opened up. I'm going to open a new composition. I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. I'm going to name this progress bar I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution and uh, 30 frames per second and I have this to 10 seconds so I'm going to click OK so the first thing I want to do is bring up my pen tool so I'm going to make sure my fill is set to none. My fill is set to none and my stroke is on with 75% um, sensitive pixels. So I'm going to draw a straight line holding down shift like so. Okay, so I'm going to come to the shape layer going to rename this to let's say holder then I'm going to come to bring down the shape and um, go to contents shape and then parts stroke and I'm going to change the line cap to round cap so I'm going to close this and um, bring up the opacity by clicking um, by pressing T on my keyboard to bring up the opacity. I'm going to bring down the opacity to around 20%, like so. Yes, so the next thing I want to do is I'll duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D on my keyboard. and bring up the opacity of the let's rename this to progress bar so i'm going to bring up the opacity of the progress bar by clicking by pressing t on my keyboard and take it back to 100 so after doing that i'm going to bring down the arrow and go to hard and click on um, trim parts so um, make sure my um, is make sure we are on zero frame and then I'm going to go to trim parts and then I'm going to add a keyframe on the end stay at zero while still at zero, I'm going to come to this and change it to zero percent. And then I'm going to go to um, three seconds and then change the end frame to 100 percent. I'm going to select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Press F9 to easy use keyframes, or you go to keyframe assistant and press um, easy use. I'm going to come to this edit speed graph, select this keyframe, and bring it to something like so. Switch back to the timeline. So if you check your animation you see that we have something like this come here press n to trim the timeline you see that we have something like so playback so we have our smooth progress bar animation right there if this video has been helpful kindly drop a like and subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell 
I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.